What's up everyone? My name is Alex Padilla, the young bartender. Today, we're gonna be making a cocktail called the Balkan. So the Balkan is an area in Southeastern Europe. Um, think about like Greece, Macedonia, um, Croatia, that whole area and um, towards the Western side of Turkey. Yeah, that's, that's what I can geography. So this cocktail was created by Ted Saucier and can be found in his 1951 book, Ted Saucier's Bottoms Up. Ted Saucier, you might have heard his name. He is most famously credited with the drink, The Last Word, which is probably one of his most famous cocktails. And that was also found in the book, Bottoms Up. This drink was created in the Colony Restaurant in New York City. So let's get started, shall we? This is a super easy drink. If you're not a fan of anise, the fla the, just the flavor of it, it might not be for you, um, but I've never tried it and I've always been a little hesitant to anise uh, forward drinks, but let's get started. And this is all equal parts, so super easy. First up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two thirds of an ounce of vodka. I am using kettle wine. We're gonna do an ounce of Pernod. I'm really interested to see what the color of the final product will be because Pernod is green colored, artificially colored. And then we're gonna do two thirds of an ounce of Arak or Rocky. Um, I'm using Masaya Arak. It is a Lebanese liqueur. It's just, so it's a grape brandy base and it is flavored with anise. And the cool thing about this is that uh, with Arak and Rocky is that when mixed with water, it turns like a milky color. It's clear at first, but then this cool chemical reaction happens where it just becomes translucent. So we're gonna do two thirds of an ounce of Rocky or Arak. I can smell the an anise from here. And then we're gonna add even more anise with Patriot's bitters. We're gonna do a dash of that. Oh, now we're gonna add red. Interesting. Well, it's more like pink, but lots of colors. We're gonna add ice to our tin. We are gonna combine our tins. And we're gonna shake. Okay. Oh, got my shirt. Now that we got it all cold. Interesting, interesting. It looks, I don't know what the color is yet. We're gonna pour it into a chilled cocktail glass. We're gonna double strain it. We don't want any ice chunks. Sorry, one moment. Sorry about that, just like the other video. Uh, it was an Amazon package. But here we have it, the Balkan. It is... All the colors make it look like a custard. It looks like custard. Um, or unfiltered apple juice. I know those are two completely different things, but let's give it a sip. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. oh, wow. That anise flavor, really strong. Mm. So the vodka, you, the, the flavor of the vodka is just completely lost. Um, but the vodka adds a nice, uh, you know, it's neutral grain. So a nice neutral grain base for, uh, well, they're all equal parts, but you know, just alcohol. Um, and you know, at first, you kind of get the bite of the vodka, but then all of a sudden, bam! 
the flavor of anise just rushes over your tongue. And the um, Rocky Arak, um, the mouthfeel has a, it leaves a texture on your tongue. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, like this weird smooth texture. I know that sounds weird, but I, you, you have to try it in order to experience the whole sensation. Yeah, you really have to sip this. Um, drink is, I would say definitely a digestive drink um, to kind of cleanse your um, palate. Well, there we have it, <laughs> the Balkan. Try it out. Don't, don't, don't be scared. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sick. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure to hit subscribe, and then hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post a brand new video. Stay safe, stay healthy everyone. See you in the next one.